This space in design thinking is important to Gould and our students because we want to prepare them for a complex and surprising world. And for them to be ready for that, Part of their education has to involve trying things that involve failure, learning from failure, to persevere and create something that makes the world a better place. The Idea Center is an open studio for collaboration. All the furniture is movable and we have lots of whiteboards that um, allow students to have spaces to do collaborative thinking. Well this space teaches our students to become producers in the world. Now that can be anything from producing graphics to producing a broadcast to making a skateboard. It could be anything. Really what it does is allows us to get that mindset that you can go out and you are building the world around you. And that's kind of what making really is all about. In the title Ideas Center, Ideas is an acronym. And it stands for Innovation, Design, Entrepreneurship, Arts and Sciences. The Ideas Center is designed to be a landscape, a geography for creativity and design thinking. So design thinking gives students a model, much like we have a model for a research paper, we have a model for scientific papers, and now students at Gould have a model for uh, design thinking for creative problem solving. Two things that really stand out as important in design thinking, one is that it begins with empathy. So design thinking is rooted in empathy, which means that you start with listening. You start with interviewing and trying to develop compassion for what someone else is feeling. And the second is the idea of prototyping. Get in there early, uh, trials, fail early, fail often, and learn from those mistakes. We have a wood shop, we have a digital fabrication space, we have a music and video production room. This place is an intersection where all of those things can come together in ways we can't even anticipate. The wood shop is a great place to, to actually do large projects now. It's a workshop and it has all the trimmings of a workshop. From CNC routers to band saws, table saws, compound sliding miters, drill presses. In a digital space we have a laser engraver, two 3D printers, a HP large format printer. We have a vinyl cutter. It allows for rapid prototyping, it allows for the exchange of ideas to happen at a much faster pace. You actually have the resources. You need a shop to build something. Well, we have a shop to build something. This isn't something we just came up with. This comes from years of design thinking practice at the design school at Stanford University. Education itself doesn't have that process. Education has a delivery of material, a demonstration of expertise, and then we repeat the process with a different subject. Design thinking takes individual moments that have a need and says, help us. Our students and all young people are driven to be creative. And as Ken Robinson has said, unfortunately school generally trains it out of students. They have incredible tools. They have incredible expertise that they can draw upon. And they have wide open permission to think extravagantly and fail wildly and think big. How can I tell a student with any sincerity that their thinking matters and their life has already begun unless I'm giving them a place to do something about it. Unless I'm really giving them the resources to make things happen in the world. How can they take me seriously when I say you can do anything now. You can change the world now. If we don't have a place with the room for them to do that and the support to accomplish it. There's nothing more practical than taking risk, recovery from failure, and actually creating something that makes the world a better place.